You've heard of Michigan's Adventure, that one park that never seems to get a brand new coaster. But have you ever wondered why? Because it has been a super long time since Michigan's Adventure has gotten a brand new major coaster. How long you might ask? Well it's been 25 years since their last major coaster. That's not relocated or not a kitty coaster. But there are actually three main reasons why Michigan's Adventure seems to never get a brand new coaster. And stick around to the end because the last one is definitely not what you expect. So why does Michigan's Adventure never get new coasters? Well, let's find out. Let's start off with reason number one why Michigan's Adventure never gets a new coaster. And that is its location. Michigan's Adventure is located in Muskegon, a city in Michigan. And Muskegon is not near the populous places of Michigan, meaning that people have to travel a long way to get to Michigan's Adventure, which likely deters a lot of potential guests from coming to the park. Because why would you drive over an hour to go to an okay theme park when you can go do something just as fun 10 minutes away from your house? That is probably the thought process of a lot of people. And that contributes to Michigan's Adventure's relatively low attendance. For Cedar Fair or any major amusement park chain, it doesn't make as much sense to put a multi-million dollar attraction into one of their smaller parks sometimes. Because they're not getting a good return on investment. But wait a minute, what even is return on investment? Let me explain. So return on investment is the amount of money you make back from an investment into a theme park. So let's imagine for a second I am the manager and owner of Kings Island. And I decide to put in a $30 million giga coaster called Orion. My return on investment is the amount of money I make back from Orion throughout its lifetime. So let's say Orion sticks around for 20 years. And I make $50 million from this attraction. That is my return on investment. I just made $20 million from Orion. But let's imagine Vekoma Boomerangs cost $20 million. Let's say I add one of those to Kings Island. It sticks around for 20 years, but it only makes $10 million. That means I did not get a good return on investment, and I actually lost money from that coaster. And losing money is something theme parks do not want to happen when they build a brand new attraction. When you add a major attraction to a smaller park, you run a much greater risk of that attraction not providing a good return on investment. So Cedar Fair would never want to put in like a hyper coaster at Michigan's Adventure because they're probably not going to make their money back. So it really doesn't make any sense. Moving on to reason number two. But before we jump into that, I want to share with you a really cool fun fact. Did you know that it was rumored that Michigan's Adventure was going to get a Morgan Hypercoaster similar to Steel Force at Dorney Park before Cedar Fair came in and bought the park in 2001? Imagine what Michigan's Adventure would look like today with a Morgan Hyper. I honestly feel like it would have fit into their coaster lineup really well and I really wish Cedar Fair hadn't shut this down. But either way, I just want to share with you, I found it was kind of interesting. Now I can't confirm that it's like true, but it's still kind of fun to think about. Okay, getting into reason number two. Now we've talked about Michigan's Adventure's location affecting attendance, but what we haven't talked about is Michigan's Adventure's proximity to Cedar Point. Hold on, let me explain. So Cedar Point is the crown jewel of the Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, the now owners of Michigan's Adventure. Also rumored that Cedar Fair only bought Michigan's Adventure to prevent them from competing with Cedar Point. Which would definitely explain why Cedar Fair has not added a new coaster. Michigan's Adventure is simply too close to Cedar Point for Cedar Fair to add coasters and reasons for people to go to Michigan's Adventure rather than Cedar Point. Because Cedar Fair wants their crown jewel park to perform the best that it possibly can. And they probably thought that Michigan's Adventure might prevent that. I mean, that would explain a lot about why Michigan's Adventure doesn't receive new coasters or investments really that often. And even if they do, they're very small scale. That's so that they do not compete with Cedar Point in any way, shape, or form. 
and it encourages people who live in somewhat close to Michigan's adventure to just take the longer trip to go to Cedar Point instead. Because Cedar Fair knows Cedar Point's a much more profitable and better park overall. More better coasters, they even have resorts and stuff, better food, and it's a great way for them to make more money by making you go to Cedar Point. Because if you've traveled like over an hour, maybe two hours, you might as well make it a two day stay. But then you gotta get a resort, you gotta pay for more food, more parking, more tickets, etc. And Cedar Fair can make way more money by having you go to Cedar Point for multiple days than just having you go to Michigan's Adventure for a singular day. A lot why Cedar Fair is probably not giving Michigan's Adventure as many coasters as they can. But it gets even crazier than this. So let's jump into reason number three. Cedar Fair realistically does not have to invest in Michigan's Adventure whatsoever. Hold on, let me explain. So Cedar Fair knows that if you do not want to go to Cedar Point instead of Michigan's Adventure, you're going to go to Michigan's Adventure whether they add a new coaster or not. And guess what? They just made the same amount of money off that person deciding to go to Michigan's Adventure, and they didn't even have to add a new coaster, which cost a lot of money. Since Michigan's Adventure is getting people in the door every day and turning a profit every day, there's simply no reason for Cedar Fair to invest unnecessary money into Michigan's Adventure. They can go and invest that money into a much larger park that's going to actually benefit from the investment and provide a good return on investment. Something that Michigan's Adventure can't really do. Cedar Fair knows they've already captured their target audience and adding a new coaster isn't going to really increase their attendance. And if you can get pretty much the same results without spending extra money, Cedar Fair is obviously not going to spend that extra money. Now this isn't great for us enthusiasts or the regular visitors of Michigan's Adventure. But unfortunately, that's just how businesses work. And at the moment, it really doesn't make sense for Cedar Fair to put in a massive attraction at Michigan's Adventure. In fact, they're probably better off adding smaller, more incremental investments to the park to just make it slightly better year after year. Now yes. Do we all wish Michigan's Adventure would be getting a brand new coaster in the near future? Of course, but I really don't see Cedar Fair doing that anytime soon. And again, if you look at the numbers, it really doesn't make sense. But there is still hope. Cedar Fair and Six Flags, they will eventually have to add something major to this park, or else the attendance will eventually start to decline. So in the next decade, I would look out for Michigan's Adventure to add probably like a family boomerang or something. And honestly, that would really fit well into the park and make it a lot nicer. And I would really love if Michigan's Adventure, Cedar Fair, and Six Flags would make this happen. But as always, I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative in any way, drop a like down below and subscribe so you do not miss out on future videos just like this. And if you want to know about the three main problems that Knott's Berry Farm is facing, then check out the video on your screen right now. It's a super interesting video and I highly recommend checking it out right now. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one.